All right, in this lesson, we're going to be going over 1.5. And also in this lesson, we're going to be practicing doing a flipped style. So this is doing your notes, but watching a video of it. So our first uh, page uh, that we're working on is at page 10 of our workbook. Again, 1.5. So as we look at this, we need to look at how we write our decimals, but doing this in word form. So if we look at the first example, begin by writing 1 and we have this number here and I'm looking at this one right here let me get a different color um, so we have one and nine hundred thirty six ten thousandths uh, so if I look at my place value chart I don't have any numbers in my hundreds or my tens but I have a one and then I have zero tenths I have nine hundredths I have three thousandths and then I have six ten thousandths. So again, we're writing this where we have our whole number, our one, and then we need to say this in word form. So we're going to say this is nine hundred and thirty six. Ten thousandths. Looking at the second example, we have standard form and expanded form. So there are four thousand five hundred thirty-six ten thousandths kilogram. And remember, when we talk to the right of the de decimal, we're dealing with this THS. Uh, so again, there are four thousand five hundred thirty-six ten thousandths kilograms in one pound. Write this number in standard form and in expanded form. So first step is write our whole number part. Well, there is no whole number, so we have zero. And then we need to identify the ten thousandths place. Is which place in our place value chart? And we could look back at the one above. And if we uh, look above, it's going to be our fourth one over. So we had that one, two, three, four. So it's our is our fourth places to the right of the decimal. So again, we have 400 or 4,536 kilograms in one pound. So in standard form, we just that's you know just normal. So 400 or 4,536 ten thousandths. In expanded form, remember this is where we break up each place value as we go along. So this would be 0 0.4 plus or 4 tenths plus 0 and 5 hundredths and then we have our thousandths and then we have our ten thousandths and all together 4,536 ten thousandths And we're looking at rounding now. In rounding, we apply the same general rule that we do when we round with normal whole numbers. Uh, if the number is greater than 5, so if our number is greater than or equal to 5, we, go, we round up. But if that number is less than 5, then we round down. So rounding the decimal, round 20 and 32 hundredths to the nearest tenth. So we need to identify what place value are we rounding to, and that's our tenths. So that's that three that we're looking at. And that three, we're going to look to the number to the right. So we look to the digit to the right of the tenths place. And since two is less than five, so which way are we going to round? Well, we're going to round down. So 20 and 32 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth is 20.3 tenths, or 20.3. Alright, now this is where I want you to work through, this is on page 11 now, I want you to pause, work through these, and then after you've gone through, I want you to check this. Alright, hopefully you've uh, worked through yours and now you can check. So write the decimals in words. This is going to be 
sixty seven and three tenths. And B is six and we have seven hundred. Thirty-four thousandths. And then our last one, we have zero. So make sure you write out zero. And sixty seven hundredths. Alright, carefully continued on, we have number two. The winning car in a race won by 15 hundredths of a second. Write the, write, in, write the decimal in standard and expanded form. So standard form, we just have 0 0.15 hundredths, but then we need to write this in expanded form. So this is where we break up every place value. So we have 0 plus, and we have our tenth place, so that would be 0 0.1. And then we have our hundredths place, so that'd be 0 0.05. And our last section here, round each decimal to the underlying place. So we see our 4 is the underlying place, so we look to the digit to the right, and that's our 2. So that's going to be 2.3, and since that 4 is what we're rounding to, the 2 is less than 5, that's going to be 3.34 hundredths. And B, we have our 4 is what we're rounding to, so we look to the digit to the right. So this is going to be 0 0.1735 ten thousandths. And our last one, we have 9 point, well that 0, we look to the digit to the right. And since that's a 5, and 5 and greater we round up, so it's going to be 9.1. That's it for Lesson 1.5 Notes. Your homework is to do 2, 4, 6, and doing 7 through 22 on page 199. Alright, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.